Attraction is a lot like the show Family Feud. Allow me to explain. You see, when you meet somebody, depending on who you were when you first met them, it, it sets the tone for the rest, the following interactions. So, you know, when you meet them, she's like, oh, okay, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. He approached me. He shook my hand. He introduced himself. He smelled good. He had a fresh haircut. His breath was nice. I noticed he had a nice watch on. Clean shoes. Seems like he takes care of himself. I like that. He must be being coached by Coach E.O. That's what the woman is thinking. So, you know, right now, you're good. You're good. Let's say you go on a date and, you know, Coach E.O. coaches you up before the date. He's got your mind right. You know, you're in the zone. You're doing everything your coach tells you what to do, to do in addition to the things you know to do already. And you go out there. You have a couple drinks. You stick to the script. And you get great results. She's feeling you. Okay, she's feeling you. But remember, attraction can be lost in a day. It really can be lost in a day. She could be feeling you that week, that day, and then you get an X. <clears throat> Attraction begins to lower a little bit. It does. Let's say, for example, you know, you've been coached by me, and I, and, and you know, when it comes to text game, I'm going to do a video on text game, but I always say I don't recommend men use um, emojis in their texts. I mean, if you're talking to one of your boys and you want to put LOL, that's, that's different. But when you're talking to a woman, you got to understand their nature. Uh, that's for her and her friends to do the emojis and the LOL. I mean, I don't recommend you do it. I say no. But let's say, for example, you're, you did everything right in the beginning and you're giving off this real masculine, assertive vibe. OK, and let's say you haven't talked to Coach EO in a couple of days. Let's say you're a little stressed out from work. You're not very focused. You, you let your foot off the gas a little bit. And let's say you're talking to her and she's like, how was your day, babe? And you're like, FML. People at my job are pissing me off. <laughs> you just got an X. Because for her, she needs that strong backbone. Hey, you were that leader in the beginning. Very masculine. Very in control. You were centered in the neutral zone, it seems. When you text, you had something purposeful to say. You haven't put any LOLs, any laughing my ass off, no emojis. All of a sudden, you hit her with a fuck my life. You just got an X. Now she's like, okay, I need to shit test this dude because... In the beginning, I saw a confidence there, and, and things are getting a little shaky right here. So let me let me throw a shit test at him. So let's say she tries to send you some sort of meme or something kind of silly just to see if you'll get silly with her. All right. A lot of women will do this. I don't know if they're consciously doing it. Maybe. I think most of the time not, but somewhere in them they got they have to shit test you now because you show them you showed them some sh some shakiness, okay? So now they got now they got a shit test. Okay, he said fuck my life. He, I liked him before cuz he he showed me some stability. Now he's saying fuck my life. I got to know for sure. Let me shit test him. So she sends something to you to see how you respond, okay? And because you think things are going well and you think things are like comfortable right now, she sends you a text that's kind of silly and you send her a crying emoji or I'm sorry a laughing emoji the ones with the tears like you're like you're cracking up <clears throat> you just earned yourself another strike <laughs> one more brother and it's on to the next <laughs> what am I saying here attraction can be lost in a day which is why it's very important you decide who and what you want to be. You also do need to understand female nature. You do. You can do that by, by hiring a coach like myself. I have so much experience with women. Have I figured them out completely? That's impossible. But I have a lot of wisdom. My job is to get you to understand yourself as best 
as you can. Recognize your strengths, recognize your weaknesses. That is my job. My job is to wake you up to a lot of the bullshit so you can be successful not only in dating, but in business and in life in general. Don't get these unnecessary out here and you're getting them. I know you're getting them. I can tell by my emails. I can tell by the questions. A lot of you are getting X's and you don't even know it. Reach out for coaching. Everett Overton at mail.com. This was a lighthearted video. I hope you got a couple of laughs, but you will see there's a lot of truth in it. Until next time.